Hello. This is our eight foot plow from Minnesota Implement. This is what we call our floating snow plow. Uh, this one here has a plastic cutting edge on it, a UHMW cutting edge. As you can see, the bolts run down the center of the cutting edge. So you can use it until it's worn a bit and then flip it over and get some more use out of it. Uh, you want to watch it with the plastic cutting edges that you uh, don't wear into your metal components. So always keep an uh, eye on the wear of your cutting edge uh, and make sure you flip that over before you start damaging the plow. Plastic obviously wears a lot faster than steel, but there are some benefits to the plastic edge, especially if you're plowing over flagstone or materials that wear out easy. But I figured I would shoot a video here of some of the features of our plow so you can get an idea of what it is, how it works, everything else. As I said, this is our floating plow. This right here is the main mechanism of our floating plow. Uh, this here is a slip tube over a lineal solid rod. As you can see, there's a stop here so that as this tube slips, it stops against that and you can still get down pressure for back dragging. That's one of the main advantages of our floating plow over most other plows that you'll see where they've got a chain in there. Uh, or a lot of guys will take a truck plow and convert it and they'll put a chain in there. You can't back drag with them. Uh, they don't work real well. The chain allows too much slop. It bangs you to death. But this here, ours is set up with a pin in here. So you can pull this pin. Uh, right now it's locked so it would act as a rigid plow. You pull that pin. Now that mechanism can float. So that's a, one of the major advantages of our plow. It can be used as a rigid or it can be used as a floater. Uh, I'll leave that pin out for the demonstration here so you can see how that mechanism moves. Uh, this plow or all of our plows are set up with the pockets on them there for the uh, feet. This particular one was not ordered with feet. But uh, just so you got an idea, that is the style of foot that we use on them. Uh, when we put them on there, you got the washers there. So that just goes on through the hole and you set your washer stack so that uh, you set how, how, how much weight is going against that cutting edge. Uh, when you're using these plows, one of the main things that you gotta keep in mind, we use this big inch and a quarter main pin here. This pin is greasable but the, the main pin gives you a very rigid, durable plow. You can run this thing into a tree. I don't suggest that you do. We won't warranty it, uh, but hey, it's strong enough you could if you really wanted to. Um, but we use that inch and a quarter main pin, which has no give to it. So with that in mind, um, it makes a very durable plow, but one of the quirky things, you've gotta make sure that this A-frame is level to the ground. You can see how I've got this sitting here. Uh, my faceplate is elevated a little bit. The boom on the machine is up just a little bit. You can't just drop the boom all the way down and then tip forward until the plow hits the ground because your A-frame will be sitting at a backward angle. And what happens then is as you go down your driveway and you turn the plow, one edge will be digging in. So you just need to make sure that that A-frame is traveling level to the ground and the plow will work beautifully. It has enough give in it and enough float where it'll do the job great for you. But if your A-frame is at a backward angle, it will dig in on one corner. So that's one of the uh, oddball things about our design. Because that main pin is so rigid, you need to make sure that A-frame is level but I will pass the uh, camera off to my partner here and she will continue to film as I show you the movement of our mechanisms.
but uh, that's the general feature of our turn. The plow turns to approximately 18 or 20 degrees east direction, so you've got a 35, 30 degree rotation, uh, which is pretty well identical to almost every other plow that's out there. Now I'll show you the uh, floating mechanism.